Well, today we're going to be talking about three essential, and I mean essential, apps that you can find on the Shopify App Store today that will help you get customers right back into your store. So a customer lands on your beautiful page, which you've spent hours making, and they're like, hmm, I like this. I like this a lot. I think I might get myself one. And then a dog runs in and they're all like, oh, whoa. And they're like smiling and the dog's like bark, bark. And they're like stroking it behind the ears and all having fun and games. And then they like go outside and it's all sunny and they just walk right on down the street and, and, they, and they forget all about your beautiful store. So how do we avoid this? And how do we get that customer back? So let's talk about them. Wheelio, Clavio, and SMS Bump. If you know about those, or if you don't, then stick around to know more. I'm Conica Lewis, I'm the content creator and presenter. That's me, I'm in the front presenting this video to you right now. And I trust that this video will be helpful to all of us drop shippers all over the world. Out of all the opportunities to manipulate us in the world, I feel like the SMS inbox is a balanced bastion for advertisers. It's a social space where you're sending and receiving messages from friends and family. And unlike Facebook ads, it's got this sacred element to it. But also, it isn't as sacred and private as your photos or your notes app. So marketers and advertisers have an opportunity to walk the line in that social space that you hold in your hand. And in this video, we'll be looking at how best to navigate that space from the marketing perspective. This is text messenger marketing. We'll have a little look at text campaigns for base marketing and abandoned cart campaigns. Let's have a look at abandoned cart. If someone abandons your cart, oh my God, no, no, come back. Then you have an opportunity to hit them up with a personalized brand voiced styled message to try and corral them back into your store. SMS bump is gonna allow you to capture customer phone numbers and remarket with absolutely insane ROAS, return on ad spend. It's pretty easy to set up. Uh, you can install it on the Shopify app store. So I won't walk you through the whole setup process, but if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up in the comments below and um, I'll get back to you with whatever I can do to help you with whatever the comment is. Sound good? Well, let's go. So it's pay as you go. For now, I'd probably recommend putting in 20 bucks or so and seeing how you do you'll find that your first text campaign will generate 90% of the revenue. So keep a tab on that and check back often to see how it's going. SMS campaign is really important. It's gonna get a lot of sales through your virtual door. It's probably the best remarketing tool in e-commerce right now. This abandoned cart workflow we'll go through right now should make that 20 bucks back pretty quickly as it's a lot cheaper than Facebook ads. So if you move away from the dashboard on SMS bump and go to text marketing, we can start building a campaign. I won't open that because my phone number's underneath it. Then you want to have a look at campaign scheduling, which just means you can schedule a campaign to go instantly or tomorrow or half of tomorrow or two days from now. Uh, your campaign name is just for Google Analytics. Uh, it's not going to come up in the actual text. Then you can look at smart spending, which delegates your text between people who have already received a text within a number of hours or people who've never received a text from you. Uh, you can enable smart sending if you've sent out a few campaigns and you don't want to spam people. You can separate those people who've already received your messages or you can just uh, send it to everybody. And then you can add a little image or a GIF to be playful and you definitely want to build a little bit of personality in your marketing. You can just click here to use short codes and add in all of these prerequisites that you got from the customer. And then obviously, you want to change your discount within the discount code settings. It's even going to tell you some sort of arbitrary message strength. But at the end of the day, of course, it's up to you how you want to write this message. But they're going to give you a few tips. Add a link to your website to keep track of clicks and orders. Add a discount code in your URL to boost conversions, obviously. And add stop to opt out. It is mandatory for marketing messages. In automations, you can set up a whole bunch of options that you can just turn on and off to make sure that the customers come back and use the coupons that you've made for them. 
I'm gonna show you exactly how it's performing. So you definitely wanna do split tests on all of your campaigns to make sure which one is performing. But first, here's a rabbit hole for you. I watched Nate Schmidt's video on books you should read in e-commerce. I got a book he recommended called How to Write Better. And then that book told me to write better by speaking. The book said, don't write, just speak. So I started recording my scripts out loud to make them sound more candid and casual. Then I had all these recordings I didn't know what to do with, so I asked my boss, Elise, how to transcribe, and she recommended an app called Otter. And now I write engaging paragraphs like that one. That one that you just watched, listened to, you know, digested. I mean, you must have watched it unless you're on YouTube Music, and I, I don't know if anyone's actually on that app. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway, you should try Otter or another transcribing app with your SMS campaigns because this is a social safe space for your customers. You wanna come across as likable. You don't wanna do some corporate namby-pamby nonsense. So I've just written one right here. So here's one I just wrote. Hey, first name, guess what? We're celebrating a thousand orders. We were thinking, you know, you might want a 15% off coupon. That's what we thought anyway. Maybe you could use your discount code 1K here. So this is casual and subtly pushy. It's gonna redirect your customer to your store and it's gonna do it in an affable way. And if your store set up right, then this should convert into a purchase. And now for some marketing of my own. <laughs> if you want a few free templates for what you can put in SMS Bump, then just subscribe and we'll hit you up with that template. Also, feel free to go on Instagram and follow us and DM us and we'll give you that template there as well. And on another subject, uh, we have a subscriber, Statics Wookie. I think that's how you say the name, has won a free month of the Guru Plan of the Beautify. So um, we would have hit you up by now with that free month, so uh, use it wisely. Now let's get into Klaviyo, which is an ESP or email service provider, which is mostly used for post-purchase upsells. So the first 500 emails are free and then it's 50 USD a month after that. So download on the Shopify store, install your address, uh, your header, and you can put images and the like, like your logo. So once you've installed Klaviyo, you've got campaigns and flows and email templates. So flows are automations from your autoresponder and they have a ton of setups already available. Like browse abandonment, customer thank you, product review and cross sell, customer win back and much more. Campaigns are sent out to your mailing list and Klaviyo also shows your overall conversions and what people did with the links you sent them. It charts how many people clicked through, made a purchase, you know, things like that. For data feeds, base these on collections within your Shopify store and then add this to your email. For cold marketing, do popular products first and you'll have to build coupons, which you can send out after an event like abandoned cart. For example, 15% off offer valid for two days. Don't make these coupons esoteric or cryptic. Keep it within that six to eight character length and keep it in line with the promotion so the customer is not likely to forget it. After setting that up, you'll want to enable your flows to live and keep in mind that UTM tracking will send data to Google Analytics. Just a tip, text-based emails are less likely to be marked as spam, so you'll get more open rates and more sales. For email templates, go into your store and go customer notifications and change these to the Klaviyo ones. And you can automate Klaviyo with Aftership, which I talked about in my video, how to build a high converting store. To connect these export email templates from Klaviyo, copy the HTML and paste into Shopify order confirmation. And for email remarketing, try and keep it in line with your brand and your products. And of course, Klaviyo is a beast, so we're probably gonna have to do a 20 minute breakdown of this whole app in a future video. So let's get to Wheelio. So Wheelio is an app that gives customers the opportunity to spin for a discount after they put their email in, which you can then use for remarketing with things like Klaviyo. As opposed to traditional pop-ups that try and grab your email, Wheelio makes your customers think that they've won the coupon, so they're far more likely to convert. According to Wheelio, up to 400%. So install it on the Shopify app store. Edit your first email to make it more personable and add exactly who it's from. This way, your customers are gonna be able to relate to your brand. Don't just have Debutify, put in Connor. You can even be really nice and anyone that's put in their email, even if they didn't win on the Wheelio wheel, you can say something like, hey, thanks for spinning, here's a welcome 5% discount anyway. 
You can customize the whole email with imagery and text, and you can split test all of these to see what performs best. Try different approaches, try to be more passive or direct, and of course, keep everything congruent with your brand. For example, order received 20% off now, or hey, we're just processing your order, here's 20% off while you wait. You can also connect your footer newsletter to Wheelio. just make sure to connect it inside of Shopify. So you can just do a simple thanks for ordering, here's 20% off, and be sure to make 20% your max discount. You don't wanna get caught in a price war where people discount and discount and discount and then your profits are just in the mud. It's marketing that will make the conversions, not discounts. So the app and the wheel itself are highly customizable. You can make galleries on the email. It's all drag and drop and very easy to use. These few apps should help you grow your business in a cost-effective manner, while also being personable to the customers who use your products. And it also opens up a few opportunities for you to deliver great customer service. So next time a great big cute dog walks into your store and steals all your customers, you can reel them right back in with these apps. I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. See you later.